My name is Kate McGargle, and I'm a PhD candidate at the Anthropology Department at the University of Utah. Hanging out on Navajo Nation or down in the Native communities is a pretty new experience for me. I'm coming in as this total outsider in a lot of ways, and I hope that I'm doing something that people are interested in and, and want to have done. This project is about trying to understand the relationship between woodland health and traditional livelihoods, specifically in some of the native communities of the Four Corners area. Firewood is actually a really important resource that people in the northern part of the Navajo Nation really rely upon in Monument Valley where it's pretty treeless, so people um, travel up out of the reservation lands and onto federal public land to harvest firewood. They then use for a huge portion of their domestic energy needs, and then also a lot of ceremonial needs. Growing up, we would go hauling firewood. We don't have electricity or um, gas-fired heating systems. And there's different preferences for heating. What do you think burns longer or maybe um, heats hotter? Right now, I just put in coal and where it's burning like a pellet stove. Mm -hmm. And then when it kind of like dies down, I, I feed some woods to it. Oh, okay. On top. Gotcha. Just to get that going here. The project is really trying to understand what are the specific ecological relationships that these communities have with that pinyon juniper woodland. And then we also want to understand how this relationship might change over time with some of the climate predictions over the next like 50 or 100 or even 200 years. What we've been doing, we've been kind of calling it like forensic firewood study, where we've been going out into areas where people are focused on collecting firewood, trying to characterize some variation of what those different firewood collection areas look like. Counting stumps that have clearly been cut for firewood collection, trying to identify the species of those stumps, and also collecting other kind of more qualitative data. And we actually found that there seems to be a higher density of pinyon pine collection happening in those areas, whereas the place that we were the other day, there was a lot more juniper, which is actually like something really interesting, I think. like We don't know exactly why there would be a difference between those just yet, but ultimately that's one of the things that we would want to kind of put into our, our model of how this whole system works. This is an important piece of that larger puzzle of what's going on, but it's also like a tiny ice. In reality, everything is really messy and variable and kind of thinking about the ways that we need to sort of simplify things to do a scientific study. I think that's just such a really interesting endeavor to be involved with.